every day in every way we're getting deader and deader thanks to cops is there anything that they won't use as a weapon against us I mean when I say steer clear of the cops I mean that literally Tonight, in just the last 90 minutes, Phoenix police say that a 19-year-old woman was killed in a crash involving a Phoenix police officer this morning at the intersection of 35th Avenue and Thunderbird. Moments ago, 12 News journalist Chase Golightly talking with the mother of that young woman. He's live tonight at the crash scene with what she had to say, and obviously a hard, uh, just an absolutely heartbreaking story for this mom tonight, Chase. Jonathan, that's right. They actually left just a few moments ago after creating this memorial for 19-year-old Ashley Vales at the scene of where this crash happened. We spoke with her mother this evening who told us she was notified as soon as the crash happened. She lives in Las Vegas, but like any mother who cares deeply for her child, she immediately got on the road from Las Vegas driving all the way to Phoenix, but it was on the road when she was told that Ashley didn't make it. It doesn't feel real. I honestly don't feel like my child's dead. Christina Worthy at the same place where her 19-year-old daughter was killed in a car crash. She was full of life, very caring, very caring, scared about everyone and everything. Her daughter is Ashley Vales. She had just moved to Phoenix less than a month ago. Worthy said Ashley for the first time was living on her own, wanting to start her own path. Ashley had just met with a recruiter with the goal of getting into the Air Force. She had hopes and dreams and aspirations and she was positive, positive. But now that's gone. It feels kind of like a dream. Phoenix police say around nine in the morning, a police officer had just taken a suspect into custody and was driving back. They were turning left at this intersection when they hit Ashley's car. It forced that car into a pole, then Ashley's car caught fire. Ashley died at the scene. Police now saying hours after the crash that she entered the intersection during a red light. What? And if you believe that, I've got some oceanfront property right outside of Phoenix that I'll sell you. Got investigators out here. Um, it's going to take some time. Police and security expert Stan Kephart said given the circumstances, Investigators will still look at this case from all angles. But there are a myriad of different things that could, be, could, could occur uh, after this investigation is completed. Plastic and glass from the crash still on the street. Well, negligence, not paying attention. Now, it really is the fact that they're above the law, they don't think about anything. I'd be willing to bet that cop wasn't wearing his seatbelt because they don't. They just jump in. They don't obey any traffic laws. They just do what they want to do. And uh, that's what this report today is about. Okay, here's a story. In my opinion, this was a typical pit maneuver by an off-duty cop. And I know this road. It's a very, very wide road. And so if you could imagine this extremely wide road and this car coming down the road, the cops parked over here at a stop sign and he decides you have, there's a long way you'd have to go to just accidentally run into this guy. But no, I believe that he just instinctually, like a cop sees somebody breaking the law, even though he's off duty, this guy's hauling ass down the road. This cop decided to pit him and that was it for him. But that's not the way the cop reported it. Two men are dead and a Metro Nashville police officer is injured following a crash in East Nashville. Peyton Kennedy is live in Nashville with an overnight update from investigators. And Nikki, the investigation shows that speed was a key factor in this deadly crash. It happened Sunday afternoon around 4.15 p.m. outside of the Metro Nashville Police East Precinct on Trinity Lane. And that investigation also shows an off-duty officer was leaving the precinct in his personal car, a Toyota Tacoma pickup truck. According to detectives, he says he saw a Mustang coming toward him, but did not realize how fast it was going. Okay, so... You can see where he's located. He's already, he has come across the other lanes through the 
middle of the road, and then there's another two lanes in which is the direction these, this uh, Mustang was going. And so you can see that this guy had to have just actually mashed it to try to pit that guy that was doing 100 miles an hour. He just saw a guy going, in my opinion, saw a guy going 100 miles an hour, and rah, rage cop, ah, and he darts out, injured. Let's look at this guy. Look, look at the cop's car. Okay, let's go back a little bit. Now, does the cop look like he could have been injured? It, it, he hit the other vehicle on his, on the cop's passenger side of his truck. So, let's just continue here. But did not realize how fast it was going. We're told the officer pulled out of the parking lot and hit the passenger side of the Mustang. Detectives say the car then collided with a utility pole and broke in half. 29-year-old Joel Skelton, who was driving the Mustang, died at the scene. His passenger, 22-year-old Patrick McGee, was taken to Skyline Medical Center, where he later died. Both men were Nashville residents. We're told the 33-year-old officer has non-critical injuries, and there are currently no charges against Of course there's going to be no charges against the officer. It was an accident. Well, there should be some camera footage from some of those homes around there. I wish that we could see that, but we probably never will. And again, it's just my opinion that this cop pitted those guys because I know that road. It would just be utterly impossible to have an accident like that occur. And so cops are dangerous. They got a reptile brain and whatever they got on them is a weapon. If they're in a car on duty, off duty, that's a weapon. Planes, trains, automobiles, and hell, I guess e-bikes. You're not safe anytime you're around a cop. Riding an electric bike has died after being hit by a Syracuse police patrol vehicle overnight. Syracuse police say it happened just before 1 o'clock this morning, right at the intersection of West Bear Street and Liberty Street. State law requires the Attorney General's office to be notified when there's a death after an interaction with an officer. That officer is on paid administrative leave. And that All right, vacation time. I guess that's really what this whole video comes down to. How to go on vacation as a police officer without using your gun. Oh, and here's a good one for you. A deputy U.S. marshal charged with entering plane drunk after misconduct report on flight to London. <laughs> oh. A deputy U.S. marshal was charged in the United Kingdom on Thursday with entering an aircraft while drunk after being arrested on allegations of misconduct aboard a flight from New York, London police said. Michael Brereton, 39, was arrested when he landed at Heathrow Airport. The flight crew had contacted officers to report onboard disruptions from the federal agent. London police said in a statement, he is expected to appear in court Friday. No court representative was immediately available for him, and a relative declined to comment when reached by phone. The Associate Press left an email message for the union that represents deputies. The Metropolitan Police Service said in a statement that flight crew members reported that the marshal was disruptive and had sexually assaulted other passengers and crew. <laughs> no sexual assault char charges have been filed. The British offense of sexual assault is one person intentionally touching another with any body part or an object without their consent. Another deputy also aboard the plane was briefly detained, but has since been released and returned. The two deputies were aboard the flight to transport a suspect back to the U.S., a law enforcement official said. The official was not authorized to publicly detail the ongoing investigation and spoke on the condition of anonymity. The U.S. Marshal said in a statement that the agency takes, ah, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, I'd love to see pictures of these knuckleheads. But there you have it. They're above the law. That's what they do. They can get drunk on a plane. They're like snakes on a plane, but it's more like pigs on a plane. 